Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here. I'm going to be doing a rect ring pour in this video using colors in the spring palette. Most of the colors that you'll see here are custom blended. There are a few exceptions. The gold is 24K Metallics by Deco Art. The white is Artist Loft Flow White with a bit of bare satin enamels mixed inside. I do have Arteza Prussian Green, and there are a couple of other Arteza colors, but I've modified them as well. Again, making them into customized shades that suit the overall theme, the overall look that I'm going for here. So I'm very excited to have you here, very excited that spring is here. Let me know in the comments below if you like spring and if so, what it is that you like about it. I love that it is starting to warm back up. I do not really care for winter all that much, so I'm very, very happy when spring has arrived. I'm also very happy about the fact that there is going to be another collaboration coming up very soon. In fact, it is called May the 4th Be With You. And there are several artists who are already committed to coming together for the amazing, fabulous collaboration that it's going to be. And I will put their channel names and links down in the description below. This collaboration is hosted by the fabulous Donna of It's Art by Donna M. She is fantastic. I love her so much. She's amazing in so many ways. And if you haven't gone to her channel to check her out, as well as the other artists, give them a check. Give them a try. They each do really nice paintings, really great artwork, and everybody that's coming together for this collaboration really loves this form of art. So I'm sure you will enjoy their paintings if you haven't already been enjoying their paintings. And definitely check us all out for May 4th for the collaboration because it is going to be very fantastic and uh, and probably extremely fun filled with some very fantastic surprises so as you can see i am just layering the cup here getting ready for the straight pour and of course i will be wrecking it it's so tempting for me to wreck let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried a wrecked ring or straight pour and if you like the technique I'd like to hear from you. So here I'm putting down my pillow of just plain white. So for those of you who are new the point of doing this is to help the puddle once it is poured flow more easily so that it's more fluid and that it maintains its shape and its composition a little bit more true to how it originally comes out of the cup. It helps to prevent the paint from rolling over on itself, which can then start to distort some of the beauty that you'll initially see coming out your pour if you don't happen to have this flow extender type of puddle down. It doesn't always happen that the paint rolls over on itself, but it sure is quite typical that it does. So you may see many artists doing this type of preliminary or adding paint around the edges after the, the pour. That's another technique too. And I do it that way sometimes also. Sometimes I'll pour directly on the canvas and then put flow extender around the edges. I love watching the paint come out of the cup. I know I say that every time I do one of these videos with either a ring pour or a straight pour, wrecked or not, because the paint comes out the cup pretty much the same way, but I love watching it come out. Let me know in the comments below what you love most about acrylic pour painting or fluid art painting. Oh, look at that uh, torch got carried away there. That's why I always turn my torch on not aimed at the canvas because especially with this torch in particular I would say it only worked especially well for the first maybe 
six or seven paintings that I did and it's been pretty temperamental ever since then. Now I don't know if I have just a fluke uh, of a unit because I have seen a lot of other artists with this exact same model or at least it looks the same and it seems like they've had it for a fairly long period of time and aren't expressing any issues but I've actually been dealing with some issues with this one for quite some time. So I always get the flame going before I turn it on. You can see that I'm starting to wreck this painting already. You have to put a little bit of thought into where you're going to wreck, how you're going to wreck. Uh, my first few attempts at wrecking paintings did not work out well, but I think that that is typically the case when trying anything new within a technique within this art form. Uh, there tends to be some not so great paintings that come out whenever we typically try a new type of acrylic pour. I would say for me the only exception to this has been the Dutch pour. My first Dutch pour came out reasonably well. I still have it to this day. It's not my favorite but it actually came out pretty well and since then the rest have been coming out really nicely. I sometimes have to redo them but they still come out really nice pretty quickly. It's the one technique that overall has come pretty easily to me, but that's me. We all have the things we flow with, the things we struggle with, and it can vary for everyone. So I would say if you're new starting out, just I would say start with a technique that looks like it appeals to you from videos that you've seen, and then study what the paint consistencies need to be and then maybe stick with that technique for several times until you feel like you're getting kind of good at it at least before trying another technique. And this is so that you just get a feel for it because with different techniques you have to mix the paint consistencies a little bit differently at times for some of them. So I feel it's nice to stick with one consistency until you really get it down for what it even feels like as you're stirring that consistency. Now here I'm coming back in with some leftover paints. I'm just drizzling that on there. I thought it was a little boring in the middle. So I wanted to spruce that up. And you'll see that this comes out looking pretty nice. It went from looking pretty boring right in there to a really pretty nice overall effect. I'm pretty pleased with this painting actually. So I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this video. In the moments ahead, you'll be seeing not only the close-up results, but you will be seeing the displayed results as well. And remember, everybody, get ready for that fabulous collaboration. May the 4th be with you. It's going to be awesome. So definitely plan to check it out.